the face of the league is going to be Anthony Edwards. I'm going to tell you that right now. And I'll explain it in just a second. But first things first, I want to say two things the face of the NBA will never, ever be. And I'm not saying Anthony Edwards will be the face of the league right now, but hear me out. Two things the face of the league and the NBA will never be. One, that person will never, ever be a loser. They are not going to make a loser, someone who continues to lose time after time in a playoff, who lose these important games, the face of the NBA. It's just not going to happen. It's a combination that will never, ever mix. Another thing, this sounds wild, but you got to hear me out. They're not going to make a foreign guy the face of the NBA. It's just not going to happen. This is an American league. This is not the Euro league. And I feel like the NBA is going to want someone that people can relate to in terms of their core fans. And in their core fans, they are predominantly American. In terms of when the NBA first came along, when it first started gaining popularity, when it first became uh, what it is today and started showing glimpses of what it is today, Magic, Bird, you go all the way to Kareem, Wilt, that's, that's just what it is. That's a harsh truth, and I don't think the NBA would ever say that. Nobody in media would ever say that, but that's damn sure why I'm saying it, because it is the truth, and I'm not afraid about it. It is what it is. So no matter... How many MVPs Jokic win, no matter, no matter how many championships Luka Doncic win, it will more so be praised as a team rather than this one player who's the best in the NBA and who is the entire NBA, the face of the league. So anyway, bringing my focus back to Anthony Edwards being the, the face in the next up in the league, the best of the best. The reason why I say this is because I was watching a game the other day and I watched him dunk on John Collins with the Utah Jazz. Now, this is crazy. You might have seen a dunk. If you haven't, go look on our Instagram. Go find it. Go search it up. But I've never seen somebody get dunked on so bad in my lifetime, bro. It's it reminded me of a 2008 Vince Carter or something, the way I seen this happen. I mean, he dunked on my man so bad. John Collins had to get sent through concussion protocol. I've never witnessed nobody get sent through concussion protocol after being dunked on. And this is no exaggeration. I mean, you can look it up. You can go back. You can watch the tape. You can watch it. You can go look at the reports, all of that. They had to put him through concussion protocol. And, and it wasn't that just the dunk where I'm like, okay, you know what? He's the face of the league now. It was more so he's already been on a, a tear all through the season, been killing it, been showing his behind all season, playing great. And then when I seen him do this dunk, bro, it was just something about it where I'm like, all right, Anthony Edwards, he's got that it factor. He's got the it factor. And most of the time people talk about the it factor. They just mean skill. Oh, he has it. You know, they don't, they can't really explain it. So I'm going to try my best to explain what I mean by that it factor. And it wasn't the dunk, but to me, he already has the skill set. Obviously, he's got the athleticism to help him make these incredible breathtaking type of plays. But that it factor to me is that combination of being able to make those plays and most importantly, He's got the personality. He's got the personality to help him out in terms of uh, being marketable and being able to, to, to be liked by fans because at the end of the day, it don't matter how much you win or lose. If the fans don't like you, they're not going to make you the face of the league. You're not going to be in commercials. You're not going to be seen on television all the time. So no matter what, you know, you got to be liked as it is. And Anthony Edwards just being uniquely himself, not trying to be Kobe, not trying to be LeBron, not trying to be KD, not trying to be Jordan, uniquely himself. This is what's separating him apart from all the other guys like Jason Tatum, who's a great athlete in the league, who set him apart from somebody like Giannis, who's also a tremendous athlete with physical dominant traits like these things are setting him apart, and I, I'd love to see it from Anthony Edwards, man. He's staying out of trouble. He's doing his thing there. He's acting in movies with Adam Sandler. He's doing all that, and he got a lot of confidence in himself as a young guy. So, you know, to me, I love what I'm seeing, and, uh, man, I, I think it's a lot, a lot to come. The only part that he has to fix and, and he'll eventually get to is the part of winning championships. That part will come in due time. But you got to win championships and you got to win in the playoffs because the more you go on, the more attention you're going to receive from media because you're winning time after time after time.